Guys, I love this film. This film has a, way more heart than I expected it to, and it's hilarious. Yeah. Mm. So, uh, how is it to be mutants, and were you fans of the X-Men franchise, and how hard was it to keep this uh, role a secret from your friends and family? I didn't keep it a secret. <laughs> yeah, I didn't either. Like, I told everyone, and like, New Zealand's such a small place, probably everyone knows everyone, to be honest. Uh, we have like one cop in the whole of the country. <laughs> but it was really, yeah, I told everyone, but it's so small, the word didn't get out. Um, I had fun playing a mutant. Yeah. I never thought I would. Yeah. Like I never in my wildest dreams thought I would. It was really cool. Awesome. Uh, now, the, your, your breakout film, Hunt for the Wilder People, was, uh, was great. Have you seen that film? I've seen not the whole thing. It's I've amazing. Seen, seen the, I've seen the trailer. Really so that's, I can say that. You know, it's, really the, uh, this obviously has a lot more action in it. So how was this stepping stepping into this compared to that? A way bit of catering. Yeah. Way bit of catering. Oh uh, no, it was a bigger budget. It was um, it was on such a bigger scale. I'm um, from Hunt for the Water People. Um, I guess like sort of Ricky Baker and um. Russell Fife is the sort of like one just like shoots fire out of that his hands. That was your first acting gig, right? Uh, no, that was my third. Your third. What yeah, was my first that film you... was um shopping when I was nine. Okay. My second was Paper Planes, like this Aussie film that I did, and then it was. Oh, okay. Movie. I did like a Don't Do Drugs and Drive with Taika Waititi, the director. Good for you. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, I was like eleven at the time, <laughs> imitating our dad's something. Um, but it was really cool. Not my actual dad. He doesn't do drugs, by the way. Just to point that out. <laughs> Um, but no, it was such a big scale and it was amazing and um, it was the biggest film I've done, so awesome. it was just a fun experience. Now, your your character Domino is going to appear in X-Force. Were there like any yeah. comic book runs that you kind of studied oh, or looked at? Um, you know what? Um, no, I kind of jumped around. Um, I I couldn't tell you at the top of my head like which series from which version. I, I had like the original um, where they were all introduced. Um, and then I had, um, there was one called Civil War, and then there was another, um, I had a, a couple of like, I don't know what they were, but they are like 10 page, or like sure. sh little short ones. Um, or, you know, I guess a lot, a lot of those thick books are like multiple stories right. all together, and I had a couple like the single stories, and I had some other ones, it was all like varying art, and um, I, I sort of just like, kind of did all of them because they were, um, you know, this movie wasn't adhering to sure. one specific storyline. Mm -hmm. And I asked if there was anything specific and they didn't specify. So I sort of like took a bit here and there. I went to like a comic book store and asked the the guy working there. I was like, what's, where can I get the best essence information of the character? And he like picked out a bunch for me. And then I, um, I just read a bunch, sort of also online on her. I like a Google to like, um, you know, read on her background. And um, there are also a couple, I don't know which cartoon it is, but there are like a couple of cartoons. Um, I don't know if it's like an X-Men cartoon, but like um, older cartoons. X-Men the Animated Series, yeah. Yeah, um, where she, and I watched a couple of episodes of that and stuff like that. So I, I tried to, um, I, I sort of like reached into multiple mediums on that. Well, you guys were amazing. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Great film.